Take a look at this. I pull this off my old 1970 Mercedes 300 SEL 6.3 on Monday. A rusty, stuck caliper that car had been sitting for 18 years, and it's fixed. It's overhauled. Boy, can you imagine how, how happy I am? Now, I, one of the things that motivated me to do this, by the way, is I started pricing out what these calipers would cost, rebuilt or new, and oh boy, this is, we're going to figure out how to unstick. And they were really frozen, okay? They were really frozen. Now, uh, a lot of times, for a lot of cars, it's just easier to go out and get replacement rebuilt calipers. You know, they, it, even if they aren't stuck, you've still got some labor involved in rebuilding them. The reseal kits, or the rebuild kits, are not expensive for almost all calipers. But I want to talk in this video about some of the ways that you can unstick frozen pistons in brake calipers. Now, there's, a, there's one method that's floating around on the internet that a lot of people think is pretty clever, and that's using a grease gun. Trying to figure out how to, you, to you know, get the bleeder fitting and adapt the grease gun and then pump the thing up with grease and it'll, it'll pop the pistons out. I think that method is probably okay for some simple, single piston calipers. But let me tell you, that grease leaves a huge mess. And particularly on these twin, these really old style uh, twin piston calipers, I don't recommend it. You, I don't know how you're ever going to get the grease out of all these hidden, hidden chambers down in the caliper. And if you leave grease in there and, and mixes with the brake fluid, you're, you're going to probably have some problems down the road. Okay, so I, I, I don't use this. I know others have. That's fine. You can choose to give it a shot. But I, ha I think I have a, a method that works uh, quite a bit better. The other method and I can't demonstrate it here, but I'll just kind of explain it. You know, as you take the caliper off the rotor when, when you're removing it from the car, but you don't unhook the hose. And then you get in the car and, you know, you pump the brake pedal and it should push the pistons out. And that will work most of the time when these pistons aren't frozen. And another method is to use compressed air. Uh, one thing I should warn here is you need to put something about the width of the brake rotor in between the two pistons so that when they come out, they just, <laughs> they just don't fly out and spray uh, brake fluid all over the place. So let's try this. I've hooked up a hose, a brake hose. I've got this punch chisel in, in there between the two pistons. And I'm gonna, I've got 110 pounds here. I'm going to try to see if I can get these to break loose. Oh, it's squirting back at me. They're not even budging. Uh, this one here, I was able to get one freed up with compressed air, but not on the other three. So let me show you now how I'm going to use this tool right here. This is a diesel fuel injection uh, pressure tester. It will pump up uh, to 3,000 PSI pressure. And using diesel fuel, I'm going to hook the caliper up to this pump, and we're going to pressurize those pistons right out of there. I have this uh, bar positioned properly between the two pistons. Now I'll start pumping on the test. Look at that. That one's moving right away. But this one's not moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force this one to move next, and I'll use a C-clamp to do that. I'll come in here with my big C-clamp. I think I can lock this one down. Now see, that's, that will prevent this one from coming out too far. So let's see if we can get the other one to move now. Ah, yes. Okay, there the other one's moving. Okay, that's great. You can see you can see some of the rust and corrosion right in there. Now I'm going to take the C clamp off. I'm going to put the bar back in and see if I can get both of them now to come out and stop against the bar. Okay, there it comes. 
Wow, look at that. Now let's take a look at this. The most important thing, of course, are these pistons. If they're badly pitted, you will not be able to reuse them. That looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good, too. It looks like this is going to be okay. It's a little bit of rusty on that outer edge, which is really typical. But I'm fortunate that, that this, this rear caliper is going to be rebuildable. You know, it's pretty amazing how, how well this worked. I mean, it, it, it pushed these out. You know, getting them out the final way with, was a little bit of a struggle because sometimes they'll get cocked in there as you're finally getting them all the way out. And one will run into the other. So you have to kind of go back and forth. But I'm really happy after removing these because I'm wiping these pistons down and they are in beautiful condition. Remember, if these pistons are pitted, then you know, you're probably not gonna rebuild the caliper. I'm looking inside the caliper here, and I, of course there's a little bit of rust forward of where the groove is for the rubber seal. Well, remember, the seal is on the piston. Now, you can't have severe pitting and deformation inside here, or the piston won't go in and out easily. But a little bit of rust on the outer edge can be sanded away, and this can be polished out, and we can reinstall this kit. And I'm gonna end up with four rebuilt calipers for about uh, $75. Now, of course, I'm counting the labor for free, all right, like most of us do, but that's a big difference over, I was worried that I might have to spend $1,000 uh, to get replacement calipers for the 6.3. So uh, that's, that's how it works. Now, what we're gonna do here in the next week is I'm gonna to put together a kit. Uh, it'll be an add-on to our, our pop tester here. We're also, in the next couple of days, gonna be filming a video on how to test and clean. We've had some tremendous success, including the very first fuel injector I pulled out of the beast. It was stuck, wouldn't even fire. And when it did fire, it was squirting all over the place. And after going through our Cleaning process with this tester, I was able to save that fuel injector. Wait until you see how well that thing sprays. So we're, we're, we're having a lot of fun with this right here, and it's, it's becoming more and more a tool I think every Mercedes DIY a mechanic should own. Now you can test fuel injectors, now you can rebuild brake calipers. Uh, we're working on a couple other ideas for this as well. So. This kit will be available. It'll have a manual, a very lengthy video manual on how to completely rebuild these. We'll go through all the process of cleaning and reinstalling the seals, uh, painting and, and everything you have to do. The, the video manual won't cover taking them off and putting them back on the car, but I think, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna tackle rebuilding your calipers, I assume you already know how to do that. So stay tuned, you know, subscribe to my channel. I'll make the announcement when this kit is available and then, um, you know, just wait. Just wait until you see these calipers back on the 6.3 in a little over a week from the time we took them off.